What's up, guys? We are live on today's uh, live stream walk and talk. I haven't shown you guys or I haven't done a video of JP Superstore and I want to do a virtual tour. I know it's not really uh, pretty much like allowed to film in there, but we're just going to barge it and give you guys the quick views of JP Superstore here in Tuman, Guam. So come join me. I might get kicked out. Who knows? Let's check it out. Maybe we go point one. This is JP Superstore, guys. We have a Hagen Dazs, like right over here. And uh, yeah, this used to be, this right here used to be like a McDonald's. But over time, like, uh, you know, it went away. Hey, what's up, Ray? Right now we're checking out uh, JP Superstore. It's been a while, haven't been here in a long time. Uh, let's go on this virtual tour, see if we get kicked out or not. All right, so this is how it looks when you go inside JP Superstore. We're gonna start on the right side. You know, uh, there's a lot of uh, cool stuff. And there's even like um, souvenirs, perfect for tourists, t-shirts and more. A lot of cool Guam collectibles and picture frames oh, I haven't been here in a long time there's even some pretzels from Godiva a lot of cool Godiva stuff uh, Yeti and got Yeti coolers and more oh this is cool look at this tote bag of Guam really cool uh, I'm gonna go here about maybe next end of the week or end of the next the month for the Agat Mango Festival which should be around here you know uh, that's cool uh, that's really nice. Like, you know, if you're here to buy stuff. I've never, I've never really been here in a while. Uh, I don't really find uh, much reasons to come, but it's really nice. They have cool satchels. Look at this backpack. I could go for a backpack like this, a travel backpack. Mine's uh, pretty vintage, but yeah. It's like there's a kitchen here. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, look at this, Chupa Chups. I know I had like a, that's really cool, Mickey Mouse stuff and more. It looks dead over there. Uh, we'll go here. Looks like it's kind of doing renovation. There's a lot of Guam chocolates as well. And cool, cool snacks. So if you're missing Guam, this is a cool place, you know. Look, looks like a great place for souvenirs. And uh, of course, there's other brands, but this area here, it's a great place for souvenirs for uh, JP Superstore. Uh, we'll keep going down. We'll show you these other places. I mean, they have cool things that I do like about this place. A really nice uh, selection of t-shirts over there. And of course, over there's a counter. My son loves this area here. It's like a playground. Uh, we'll check that out. A lot of cool toys. I'm not sure if the quality is good, guys, or if the connection is like getting cut off. So sorry if it's uh, jittery or uh, pixelized. Cool toys, you know? Cool toy section. So if you're coming here with family and kids, they even have this thing that you can play with kids, you know? I will go check this other side. I know over here is more of like the luxurious areas, like bags. Yeah, look at this. They even have more like uh, brands here. I'm not sure. We'll just check. This this is also located inside, uh, uh, what do you call that? Grand Plaza Hotel. Got like a lot of plushes here and more. Oh, little plush dolls called Jelly Cat. That's a good brand. And then over here, I guess we're moving into more like the sunshades and all these other cool stuff. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this virtual tour. Don't forget to like down below. Give this video more algorithm showtime. And also, yeah, comment. Okay, let me check out the comments. We got Raymond, shout out to Raymond. Hey Mark, what is this place called? This place here is actually called JP Superstore. Uh, yeah, it's in Japan Plaza or Ware Plaza. Uh, Blackjack, what's up? Hey, what's up brother? Just showing you quick, quick, uh, Views of the place. Hello, half a day. Uh, got all these brands. Got Rip and Dip. You know, streetwear, fashion, and more. Uh, some music going off. 
It's a lot of Yeti. I'm not sure what else is there. Avihanas and more. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. So uh, we're not allowed to film in here, guys. The lady just said. Thank you. So, uh, like you saw that lady, she said it's not allowed to film here. So there you go. There's your tour. We got kicked out. Now we're going to leave out this way. This is the off-white area as well as Diesel, Ballman, Acne Studios, Hydrogen, and this Honolulu Cookie Company, Honolulu Coffee Shop. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the virtual tour of this JP Superstore. Fast time before we got the boot. Uh, the lady asked and she said no filming, so of course we had to leave. But I hope you guys enjoyed that quick views of uh, JP Superstore here in Tumon. Yeah. Um, we're gonna head down. I haven't showed you guys the beach in a while. We're six minutes in this live stream. Uh, so yeah, Nell, this place is called JP Superstore. There's this spot I always walk by, just right near the famous Tumon Crossing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries, thanks. Thanks for watching. I mean, uh, we're gonna go check out, I'm gonna go head down this way and check out the beach area. You know, I love showing you guys these Tumon views and uh, every, time it's, every time we're here, it's a little different, you know? Hey, I heard Rippin' Dude was beating his girlfriend a while back. You're right. You're right, Blackjack. You're actually very right that uh, Rippin' Dip, the owner, uh, he was beating up his wife. He was like an abusive man. He was like a thing. So that, that brand got canceled, Rippin' Dip. And I know like the kids nowadays, they still buy it because they like the cat, you know, all that stuff. But for me, uh, skater-wise, I don't support it. I don't, I don't even like the graphics. But shout out to Rippin' Dip for... For supporting a woman beater i mean you guys are pieces of shit. that brand should have got canceled but hey i'm happy you know that blackjack happy you know that yeah rip and dip was uh canceled it was like canceled you know they canceled that shit out because the owner was beating up the chick but i know it's a different uh owners now i think they sold out uh here's the crossing guys i think we still have to let's cross I'm gonna do a little run. Sorry if it's crazy. I'm running across, guys. Got the beautiful trolleys down there and more. All right, let's go put some shades on. Uh, we'll head down this way. I really like going down this way for the beach. Uh, I like this area to go to the beach because it just opens up. We'll do that. We'll go through this beach way and then we'll lead out through uh, Outrigger. I'm not sure. We'll just lead out and then we'll call the thing. But those graphics were shit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, anyone could be an artist now. You could doodle, put it on a t-shirt, say it's streetwear fashion, high end, and people will buy it. I mean, I could see this plain white shirt. I could put a like a maybe a squeaky line and say it's like a high end French brand and people would buy it. It's kind of crazy that as humans, we, we, we accept those type of things, you know? Consumer wise. All right, I'm, I'm gonna pick up the speed and walking thank you again for whoever is uh watching whoever joined the live stream whoever uh leaves comments liking the video uh yeah we started off this live stream we started off this live stream earlier with uh jp superstore uh i gave you a quick go around it was pretty good until the lady told us we couldn't film there and gave us the boot so we left but i hope you guys uh, saw that i don't see much videos of it but i hope this live stream suffices for that and yeah now we're gonna head over to the beach i haven't checked out the beach in a while here in tumon but of course as always i love showing you these cool sites and you know uh yeah it's also good practice for me because on my next trip i want to do more live streams because i think vlogs take a little bit more longer to edit and stuff but i'll be doing both you know but uh on my next trip i'm gonna try to do some live stream walks and stuff uh, yeah, ugly steez. Here we go, guys. This is the beach here, right near um, Ducet and right near Nana's Cafe. Great two mom views. It looks like a bit of a low tide today, guys. Uh, yeah, it looks like low tide. Awesome. Wow. For, for Guam, we're getting a lot of uh, 
tourists. I mean, they're not over here. But, oh, they, dude, look, I got to show you guys this. But there, like, look at all the tourists. There's like tons of tourists over here. They're doing their thing. There's like, it's low tide right now, so we'll see. But this is something I want to show you. When I was a kid, this whole area was actually like full of sand all the way down and you could actually walk through here. So it's really nice seeing that the low tide kind of makes me have this nostalgic feel of like where you could actually walk across behind uh, this reef hotel and then go up to Weston. Uh, let's go 0.5. Matt, Matt Williams, thanks for the vids, Mark. Hey there on vacation at the end of June from Mississippi. Hey Matt, welcome half a day to Guam. We're at Tumon Beach right now, Matt, and uh, yeah, weather is super beautiful. It's hot. It's the start of summer. Yes. By the time you get here, it's still gonna be summer, 24/7. It's gonna be great weather for you. There's gonna be cool events. There's also they might. Okay, heads up, might little hint. All right, there might be a cool parade for you, like Liberation Day parade. You should Google that. Liberation Day Guam. Liberation Day parade Guam. Uh, it might happen in July. Like it's always in summertime and it also has like a, a carnival, cool stuff for kids. And it kind of do it throughout the whole uh, summer of this uh, carnival summer thing. It's pretty cool, man. You should check it out. Uh, let's continue on with the views. Matt, shout outs to you. Thank you for that comment. Shout outs to Mississippi. I'll see you in end of June. All right, so we got the beautiful beach views over here. Blackjack says, next time, just tell the shopkeepers you're talking on the phone. Yeah, bro. Uh, I'm kind of I kind of am like I'm kind of doing a video call with everybody you know I'm not really filming I'm like a video call showing you guys this thing but of course it does record so uh, maybe that's their their deal with that but yeah uh, it's pretty cool I should have used that yeah oh, I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm a Skype call I'm on a video call so that's why it's uh I'm, I look like I'm filming I should have used that excuse but maybe next time but yeah dude it's a pretty hot day very uh, Great seeing all the tourists out and about. Look at that. Also, this is also new here. And this Ducet Hotel. There's like a kid's playground there. I gotta find the time for that. Uh, to actually like, you know, stay at this hotel and swim there, do their thing. Also, shout outs to Ocho, Ocho, Ocho Hour. I forgot, I forgot his, his uh, Instagram, uh, his YouTube name. But he said that there's actually like real laddie stones right over here, you know, real laddie stones in front of this, uh, Pool. They have a laddie stone area of real authentic goods. It's right over there. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it's a really hot day. All the tourists are out. We have a big... Ooh, thanks. I'll check it out. Yeah, man. Look up a Liberation Day Parade, Matt. Uh, we have a lot of tourists out coming to Guam, enjoying the waters. Look how beautiful it is, man. Look at that. And I'm going to tell you, man, in Guam, the beaches, everywhere you go, it's like probably like a 15-minute drive from where you're at. You go whatever direction, you probably find a beach, you know? And this is one of the main beaches, Tumon Bay. Uh, there is cool sites of all this all, I don't know, man, if you're staying at a hotel, Airbnb, but uh, recommendations if you need it for a great hotel. It's here, it's Dusitani. It's uh, this beach access, very beautiful. It's just private, you know, um, a little bit pricey, but uh, yeah. If, and then another thing, I showed it yesterday on my, my live stream walk. It's just down there. You can see this hotel right here. It's called Pacific Islands Club. Uh, it's right behind this hotel. It's a Pacific Islands Club. There's a great pool area. You could stay there the whole day, just lounge in the pool and do all the cool stuff that they have there. That's a great place, man. This whole area, you can walk this whole strip. It's, uh, it's like public beach, you know, it's not like private beaches. So you could walk this whole strip. There's houses and stuff. There's all these cool stuff here. But uh, I said I was gonna cut through this hotel and also show you guys, you know, some views. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any comments too, you know, you could always leave a comment. I reply to every comment. I read everything and uh, all I ask is you guys just Check it out. Leave a like. Yeah, leave a like. Yeah, and for like new subscribers and for people that are watching this Subscribers, my channel is not just like a, you know, one niche. I'm focused on more just like showing My life, you know, I mean I do these I love these live travel walks and vlogs and I also do love uh, skateboarding. So there's a lot of skateboarding and there's also like Japan vlogs, Japan stuff, Japan edits, montages and more. So I guess what I'm trying to say is just thank you for watching, man. Uh, I'm not sure if my channel is gonna be your type of mojo or for you, but I still appreciate every view I get, every like and everything else. Who else is on this live stream chat? Oh, we got Bill. Hey, what's up, Bill Thompson? 
Ah, uh, love seeing the beach. I'm staying in an Airbnb in Chalampago. All right, so for that Airbnb in Chalampago, bro, you're a bit far from where we're at, but Airbnb, Chalampago should be beautiful. Uh, do get a rent car because you're pretty far from the beach area, but from this beach area, but there's also a lot of be beautiful beaches and sites that is near you in uh, Chalampago, man. So you're gonna enjoy that, man. Also, Bill, shout out to you. I forgot uh, what I was saying. This is a, a Choti hour. He told me that these are actually real Laddie stones. Here you go, the real deal. These are real Laddie stones on Guam. You know, this is, uh, you know, it, it was used to like show strength, also show uh, build houses and structure. You know, show power. Uh, that's like one of the culture stuff. Look at all the tourists enjoying, guys. Uh, yeah, man. If you can, get yourself down here in Tumon. This is where more of the life is at from compared to island life. Uh, I mean, everywhere in Guam, it's like island life. You know, island life is different compared to city life. Island life here in Guam is pretty relaxed and chill and slow. Uh, but this area is a bit like a very mini uh, city here in Guam. But like I said, uh, anywhere else in Guam, you'll see it's kind of like, like uh, it's pretty hot. No, not, not much people walking on the sidewalks, only in this area because, you know, it's more of a safer and less crazy hotness. Most people are out driving and stuff. And yeah, I can't wait for you guys to come visit Guam, enjoy Guam, check out the water, check out the cool sites. There's even like cool trike, uh, if you're into trail hikes and uh, like uh, waterfalls, dude, there's tons you could do here in Guam. Uh, let's go into this hotel and then I'm gonna end the live stream, guys. Quick live stream for today. But I hope you guys enjoyed that JP Superstore and beach views for today. All right. Uh, I usually go through here, but we're gonna go over here. I love seeing the laddie. I remember seeing them in the boonies by Shark's Hole and Stella Bay. Wow, awesome. Hey, what's up, Matt? Thank you for joining. Uh, yeah, with me, guys. My buddy, Matt, Maho Travel, right there in the comments. Go follow him, man. Uh, he does his own uh video vlogs of him in philippines he's like in the cavite area if you're into philippines go check out matt matt's channel it's called maho travel subscribe let's get him to 500 subs guys so he could do live stream walks like me and we could like do a collab if ever i go to philippines probably the end of this year man not to sidetrack yeah but the nine club had a day one on Ooh, i thought they closed that blackjack i thought they i thought the the whole uh Nine club is off. I thought they're gone already. Mm, but yeah, guys. Oh yeah, even you, Bill. Shout out to you, Sharks Hole and Stella Bay. I gotta make my way down there. I gotta show some cool sights and views. And you know, I gotta just do that thing. Um, I'm gonna end the live stream here, guys. So thanks for joining. I just wanna say my final goodbyes. Uh, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, I would appreciate everything. If you like the video, you subscribe, you share and all of those. Uh, end of this month, there's gonna be this cool mango festival. I keep talking about it. I'll be there, I'll be doing a vlog over there. And other than that, like I've been slowed down on the content, just trying to figure out some stuff and also just focus on skateboarding and other stuff. But don't worry, they're coming, videos are coming besides these live stream walks. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you know, I do enjoy showing you these sites of Tumon. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Mark and I'll catch you on the next one. Backjack those rocks were like ancient artifacts. Peace, I'm out.